evening. Welcome to the Cigar Cabin, home of great cigars and fine whiskies. So tonight's episode is very dear to my heart. It's a company that I connected to a long time ago and they've supported me from, from pretty much then on. They send me cigars that they do limited release on. It's pretty much, this is a clue for you. When they're gone, they're gone. Nick and Ray, the owners, are fantastic, and I've done some great reviews for this, this company. I love the way their branding is. I love their cigars. I love what they do. They're just fantastic. So this ain't no joke. Yep, that's another clue for you. But this is the patch. So yes, as you are aware, the cigar clowns. So the cigar that they've sent me is this here. This is the Jack in the Box. It's a box press, five and a half by 54. So it's a Nicaraguan Maduro wrapper. The binder is Candela and the fillers are Jalapa and Esteli. I can't wait to smoke this cigar. I've done the Ron, the Mark, the Piazza, and I've loved every single one. And as I've said, once they're gone, they're gone. So the release date for this cigar is the 28th of August. You can order it through the Pravada Cigar Club. Yes, if you in the UK, there might be some shipping costs, but I think it'd be well worth the money. But they're also doing a release party at the Lou Liga Lounge in Philly. It starts at 12 o'clock, so please get yourself down there and get yourself one of these amazing jack-in-the-box. Their ideas are crazy. They're just getting better and better. They're just trying to find the perfect smoke. And I'm hoping this is as good as the Ron, the Mark and the Piazza. So Nick, I'm gonna, Ray, I'm gonna enjoy this cigar. So without further ado, let's get this cut. Let's get into this great cigar from the Cigar Clowns. And remember the 28th of August, you need to get because yeah, when they're gone, they're gone. So let's get this cut. Now I've just took this out of its cellophane wrapping and the feel of this cigar is kind of rustic, kind of um, rough, but the seams are sublime. The cap looks great, the foot, the box press, you gotta love a box press. And there's minimal veins. The band is just fantastic. I love everything about this brand. The smell. So on the foot, I'm getting kind of a, a cocoa smell on it. It's a sweet tobacco smell on the wrapper. I'm gonna do a V cut with this cigar because I think it'll work perfectly. So I'm just gonna do this single V cut on it. So let's get into it. I cannot wait. So as ever, take the V. Put the cigar, box press is fine, just put it in, into this, into the groove there, and then just give it a nice straight cut, if you can see there. That's all you need to do, give it a couple of draws, so there's the V cut. I'd go that way because I think it's better. So straight away, there's no resistance whatsoever. It's really nice draw. A little bit of sweetness. So let's get this toasted. Let's get into this wonderful cigar. So I'm gonna use my classic burner. I haven't used it for a couple of weeks now, so I think it's it works for this particular review. So please work, there it is. You gotta love it. So as ever, just toast the foot. Quite simple, just turn the cigar till you think it's right. A little bit more there. Don't put it direct in the flame. And then to the mouth. That should do the trick nicely. Turn it off and give this a couple of draws. The smoke looks great already. A 
so the smoke is airy creamy white really fills the mouth getting nothing really at the moment but you never do on the first real draws of a cigar um maybe a little hint of pepper but nothing more than that yeah that's terrific smoke output this is going to be impressive but as i say a little bit of pepper on the on the on the back of my throat but other than that i think it's not until you get into the first third you really get some real taste on it but yeah the cigar clowns check out their website here also check out the provada club here um the 28th of august the lou liga in philly if you're in that area get yourself down there get yourself one of these cigars join me at the first third see you in a minute you join me at the first third. This is going beautifully. The smoke output is right where I want it. There's lovely floral aroma that comes off this. The smoke, just check this out. Thick and creamy. There's just very little bit of pepper on it. The Madura wrapper offers a little hint of chocolate, but I'm getting in this some hay, little bit of cedar, but I'm also getting a little bit of tea. It's a weird note that I don't normally get, but yeah, there's a little hint of tea. I don't know where that's come from. It's creamy. The construction is fantastic. The ash is solid. The draw line is incredible. This is really nice. The earthiness kind of goes to like a musky kind of note. This is going to be incredible. Hopefully there's going to be a few more transitions in this cigar. So again, this is Jack in the Box by Cigar Clowns. Just hopefully the ash won't fall at this, but just check out the band there. But I will show you that in more detail a bit further on. But I love it. Join me at the first half. See you in a minute. You join me at the halfway stage of this jack-in-the-box. Look at the draw line. It's absolutely incredible. Now, the ash fell all over me, but it was literally about an inch and a half. It's a lovely light grey ash. The smoke has still been incredible throughout. real creamy the taste there hasn't been really that many transitions i'm still getting a little bit of tea i literally just got some then there's the little bit of cocoa the hay the seed of the muskiness of this cigar the floral aroma of the smoke is incredible i'm in love with this cigar you've got to go and get one they've done it again i'm really happy with this this is like made my absolute yeah so i'm gonna get to the band shortly i'll show you exactly what that's all about but like i said there's not really really that many transitions I'm still getting a little a slight bit of pepper on the back this is kind of a medium um cigar and it's just what can i say nick ray you've done it again join me at the band reveal unbelievable Here we are at the band reveal. Again, you know me, this is one of my favorite parts of any review. So as you can see, the cigar is still performing. The smoke has been brilliant. I haven't had to touch this up at all. The draw, the, there's no resistance at all. So without further ado, let's get this band off. Simple as that. I love it when a band comes off that easily so here we go there it is fantastic what a great idea this is what cigar smoking is all about the, the the variety the togetherness again 
Thanks very much, Nick and Ray, for this amazing cigar and giving me the opportunity to review on it. So again, the 28th of August, make sure you check them out and purchase yourself one before they sell out. So join me at the final third of this amazing cigar, Jack in the Box. See you in a minute. You join me at the very end of this Jack in the Box by Cigar Clowns and it has gone tremendous. I have loved every single part of this cigar. I've got like the earthiness. There's a lot of pepper that comes towards the end of this cigar that sits at the back of the throat and just lines the top of my tongue. There's the earthiness, there's a bit of hay. And most of all, there's been that tea taste all the way through with a little hint of chocolate. And I love that. The smoke output has been incredible. So please check out the Cigar Clowns. Try and get one of these. They are released on the 28th of August. They're doing a release function at the Lou Liga lounge in philly i only wish i could be there it starts at 12 o'clock make sure you get down there if you're in the area i'm over the moon with this and i definitely will be ordering a few through the provider cigar club check out their website here make sure you get on there on the 28th and get ordering because they will literally go like hot cakes they sell out incredibly fast so again on that note i'm just going to finish the rest of this amazing cigar the jack-in-the-box. Stay safe and happy smoking.